welcome back to my channel this is the she critiques platform and i'm mercedes i think i just did that all typed of backwards but whatever you get the gist we are all the way at number 90 at this point i'm pretty sure you know who i am and what this platform is but anywho <laughs> we are going through a list of 101 of my absolute favorite films of all time and today we are discussing my one of my favorites y'all like i love this movie so much um it is and it's one of those like weird eccentric movies that like I think if you haven't grown up on it, you might not have the same sentiments that I do for it. And when I tell y'all, first of all, I had another film on my list that I was going to talk about. And then I was like, you know what, Mercedes? No, continue to be true to yourself. Like, do you like this film or that film? Truly, is this a film? Is this one one that you think people expect to hear from you? And is this one one that you actually really love? So... With that being said, I had to cross out a classic, y'all, a hood classic, just because I have to be true to myself and actually say, but this one I actually really do love and I've seen it a thousand times and I know the words and I, I light up when it comes on TV. But before we talk about that film, we have to talk about Black Flick Trivia. Black Flick Trivia is a game that I have completely curated and created myself each and every question. And it has questions like name three musical films. If you can name, I'm sorry, it's a spider in my window, y'all. He on the outside though. Oh, it's a little dusty over here. Let's fix it up. Okay, anyway, um, if you can name three musical films, go ahead and drop it in the comment box below. I would love to see what your answers are. You can get your deck today of Black Flick Trivia at www.chiccritiques.com and get it on the fun. So the film we're discussing today is none other than the original, not the show, because I never got into the show, but the movie before the show was even thought about is one of my favorites and that is 1992's classic of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If you've seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer the movie the original hit the like button below. I feel like a lot of y'all are judging me right now and I really don't appreciate it. Like I could hear you through the screen and I really don't appreciate that okay it's a lot of judgment relax. So y'all I'm not even going to tell you what hood classic I crossed out to put in Buffy because the judgment would be so real. But the fact of the matter is, I really love this movie. And I don't know why I love it, y'all. I've seen it a thousand times. Um, it is the original. Like I said, it's not the television show. The television show came out years later. The movie is what inspired the television show. It is one of my favorite movies of, like, all time. Like, I really, really, really like this movie. <laughs> Judge your mother. So there's a scene, of, oh, okay, the movie is about this young girl, a uh, high school girl. She's a cheerleader. She has all these things going for her. All the boys like her, all those things. And then she finds out that she carries some kind of trait that she inherited from her ancestors to be a, a, a vampire slayer. So then she starts training. Y'all know I love when people be training in these movies. So then she starts training. She got wood and she got to drop the stake in them and all kind of stuff. She got to learn about these vampires. So she gets like a mentor who um, comes in and he um, teaches her about her lineage and who she is and how to do all the things. It's giving all the mystical and everything that you just love to see in fantasy films. And then she becomes this ultimate Buffy the Vampire Slayer, okay? She's a cheerleader by day and she's a vampire slayer at night. So the film came out in 1992. It stars Christy Swanson as Buffy, Donald Sutherland as Marek, oh, Luke Perry as Oliver, her love interest, Hilary Swank's in this movie. Oh my God, Hilary Swank is in this movie. I haven't seen this in a long time. David Arquette, um... Paul Rubens. It's a good movie, y'all. I don't know if you've ever seen it or if you have, maybe you like it just as much as I do. But I think this is definitely one of them films you're looking at me like, excuse me? And I don't really care because it's my list. And if you got a problem, make your own. <laughs> anyway, check out Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the original movie, the 1992 installment. It's number 90 on my list today and we still have 11 more to go. Can you believe it? we made this far? Oh my God, I can't believe it. I will see you next time. Peace.